Focusing more on Sasha as a character herself, you, I, I noticed that you mentioned like how she's an ambiguous uh, culture or like ambiguous, like she, she's obviously colored, so she's not like uh, the typical like Caucasian protagonist or anything like that. But where yeah. did that concern you think come from? Just your personal sensibilities, or what? Well, where where did the character of Sasha come into like Genesis? Like how did you develop her? Um, I'm not, I'm not really sure. It was <laughs> just yeah, because she just came in like yeah. that in a way. The only change was that uh, from the original concept, I just made her younger because we realized it was uh, more of a rites of passage story. Mm. And it worked better if she was not like a 20-something mature warrior, but someone that's still finding her place in the world. Yeah. So so I made her a bit younger for that as, I, as just the story kind of demanded huh. that thing. Uh, but and that was fairly early in the in the process. Uh-huh. Uh, but aside from that, um, I don't know. I just like I would like to see um, more kind of diverse looking characters in, in in games. And um, yeah, it's just kind of like a mix. I don't know. Uh, it, it's really there's no like a specific ethnicity. Mm-hmm. Uh, a lot of people feel like Latin American because of the bright colors and things like that. Yeah. But that was not necessarily like, let's make her look Latin American. I feel like more so than uh, Guacamole, which is obviously an homage and love letter to Mexico and like Mexican culture. This game mm-hmm. feels like we mentioned a little bit earlier, like it has Greco-Roman architectural elements. It has pyramid elements of uh, South American and also Egyptian culture. I, I, <laughs> I think you guys accomplished a good job of just having this hybrid culture without necessarily defining who she is. I even see her more as like South Asian, if anything like it's it's hard you don't want to obviously claim like or like put a put a title on her but i i think you guys accomplished it well that she's not some she's not any of our real world cultures really yeah, yeah. and in a way it's also uh yeah. like you want to sort of stand out uh from all the other characters mm-hmm. you want to make her look unique and like sadly there's not enough like quote unquote ethnic looking mm-hmm. people in video games so yeah. i think it's something that really like resonates uh with people as well that was kind of like just a byproduct of this this is not something that was like uh sort of imposed or anything it's yeah. just something like okay that's how it is and also like toronto i mean also with san francisco mm-hmm. is like a very diverse very multicultural kind of kind of cities and pots. it's just exactly so it's just kind of like in a way that's just an extension of that because like yes. i look around the studio and like even even the the even people that like are white they don't say they're white you know they mm-hmm. they say like oh I'm half Scottish or like or Greek you know Irish I have yeah exactly yeah. I have I have Greek I have Italian I have you know I have a, a Spanish blood or whatever it is um, so it really is not like uh, that nobody approaches it that way nobody says like I'm generic. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm just a mixed bag. Yeah. Some people say they're mutts, I guess, but I think it's more comedic, if anything. Yeah, yeah. So when it's something like that, we're like, you, you, you look around and then you see people from different cultures, and that's something that I really enjoy in totally. in Toronto because, I'll, you know, in Mexico is like a lot of Mexicans, mm-hmm. uh, and you know, the diversity is not as heightened as as like downtown Toronto or like even in the suburbs of Toronto where you get just like yeah that melting pot feel. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it's just also like an extension of, of that, I, uh, and I I don't and it's something that is actually not like in the case of Guacamole is relevant for the characters to be Mexican absolutely, but in this case it's not really because it's dealing with like something that's much more universal and introspective at the same time for Sasha. Um, so that's why it's not a specific culture. I feel like this game already has so many psychological bombs that are about to explode. And it's weird that I say that because it's not necessarily some like mind bending, like if you've ever seen Evangelion, it's not, it's not meant to be that (laughs) way in your head, right? It's not, I mean, it's abstract, obviously in the visuals and it's not trying to aid necessarily your comprehension of the story, but the, at the same yeah, time, we're not gonna make we're not gonna make a game to explain the ending of the game. (laughs) You're not gonna make an end of Evangelion, you're saying for Severed? Yeah, we're not gonna do ten years from now release oh, another man. version. I, I was that... looking forward to end of Severed. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be awesome. The end of Severed. The end of Severed. Rebirth. <laughs> or death and rebirth. We'll, we'll have like a little death and rebirth. Exactly. Oh man, that's uh, perfect. I, I love Evangelion. Yeah, Evangelion is uh, one of my favorite franchises but, of all time too. 
But I feel like you didn't need the extra movies. <laughs> you, you, hey, I you love should, the first. Don't go watch three point oh. I'm telling you right now, don't watch okay. three point oh. I won't. Yeah, I won't. it's not very good. Uh, sorry for those oh. fans that are gonna kill me now in the comments of Ava. <laughs> 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 I never thought Severed would involve so much Berserk and Ava. These, this is awesome, and uh, so uh, that's why this interview has already gone on for an hour now. So I think we're actually gonna uh, get close to wrapping this up. And I have one final question with you, uh, Augusto. So yeah. are you ready? Yes. Okay, so last question, possibly the easiest or maybe even the hardest. I've, I've asked this before to a few developers now, but what do games mean to you? Are they first and foremost art? Are they life, etc.? What do games mean to you and in your life? Go abstract um, as think, you want. <laughs> yeah, for me, for me, uh, well, like making games is kind of like uh, an expression kind of thing. Yes. You know, like... like uh, as a, as an artist or like someone that makes content, you just want to kind of share, hey, this are this is the stuff I'm feeling and what I'm thinking, and I cannot articulate it in words, mm -hmm. but I can spend three years making drawings and <laughs> you know, and then hopefully that resonates and oh, that's yeah. kind of like an inspiration kind of thing. And when I play games, it's uh, to do that to like in a in a way to feel connected, feel part of the world and see what other people are feeling and get those different points of view through a, through a medium that allows for that exploration in in a way that is uh hard to explain with just you know with just a, a few sketches or mm -hmm. a few sentences so so for me i don't know it's it's um it's a playing is a necessary part of like human development. Yeah. And uh, when you get to elevate that into a form of communication, that's uh, it's more subtle and deep mm -hmm. Then I don't know, you get like a weird satisfaction out of that. Um, but for me, it's just like, kind of like th the sharing part. Like I don't make games and keep them in the hard drive. You know, it's, <laughs> it's meant, it's meant to be an experience that everybody takes it as their own experience and hopefully they'll enjoy it. Uh, hopefully there'll be like a weird connection from the developers to the players as the same way I feel as, as a player with games and media that I really yes. enjoy. I think with all artistic mediums, the goal is to have a silent communication with the people you are cons who is consuming your art or like yeah. experiencing with it. And I definitely feel with Sever that just hearing how personal and how much uh, resonance this has to you and your family and, how the, the phone call analogy and all these other things. It just, with Severed, I already feel like rather than severing away and like getting, like separating yourself from humanity, it feels like this is a quest more of like you getting closure and more of us as the as the player uh, for Sasha, like us getting closer to what it means for her to be back with her family, like what she cares about. So I think you exactly. accomplished that really well and you did, you communicated all of that. And uh, I can't wait to beat the game. I want to go play it right now. <laughs> um, um very happy that's communicating because that was so hard to do. <laughs> well, you did it perfectly. You guys did it really well. So I want to thank you, Thanks, Augusto. Man. And uh, we'll talk. I'm sure we'll talk when the next game is coming out. And uh, I want to hear your concepts then, all right? Yeah, let me know when you finish the game. All right. I sir I, hey, I'll give you my thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. All right. Thank you so much, okay. Augusto. Thank you, Hayden. Thanks for having me. Also, uh, we could follow you uh, at, is it Kukso on Twitter? Yeah, Kusho. Kusho, okay. Uh, Again, butchering yeah, it's, names. Uh, <laughs> no, no, it's fine. That one's, that one's a hard one. Right. Uh, it's it's actually a nickname. Like, Augustos are called Kushos in southeast Mexico for some reason. Oh, I never heard of that. That's interesting. Yeah, it's weird. Wow. It's not it's not as intuitive as uh, Michael Mike, but it's kind of <laughs> the same thing. No, no, not exactly the, the same direction. It, it sounds <laughs> yeah. similar, right? Yeah. Uh, yep. You can also follow us if you guys want to hear more interviews, and eventually we'll do a review of it as well of Severed. Uh, you can go to viewbyte.com, follow us at viewbyte.com um, on Twitter, and also you can follow me at Hayden Robel if you want to hear me talk about uh, End of Severed, Death and Rebirth some more. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thanks again, Angus. Definitely. Thank you very much. Have a good one. You too.